Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and it is time for more Nuclear Throne. We are on update number 43, a big pile of tiny changes and fixes. So I haven't touched anything at all since the update downloaded. Normally I'll play a warm-up game or something like that, but no, we are going straight in this time. And uh, as I said, we're trying to play a little more seriously. So out of this ragtag group of starting characters, I think I'm going to try Chicken. Now, I am really bad with melee, but I think Chicken's slowdown ability could be the sort of thing that I could take advantage of to help thrust me in to the later parts of the game with more regularity. Although I do need to get rid of Chicken's sword sooner rather than later, uh, because I will only do myself harm with this sword, so I really do need to get rid of it. Uh, a machine gun is a nice secondary weapon to have. Uh, I uh, am on record as liking the machine gun because it has the ability to spam bullets, but it also has the ability to do a nice single shot, which I think is a really nice compromise between something like the assault rifle and the revolver. So, yeah, whatever. Here we go. Let's go ahead and finish this up. We got another, yeah, we got a shotgun. I think it's time to abandon our sword for a shotgun machine gun combo. And uh, here, what have we got? I think back muscle is probably the uh, no brainer here of the group. Yeah, back muscle. So we're going to be able to carry more ammo. And I believe that will also confer more ammo drops on us as well. And there's exactly the reason why I need to be getting rid of the sword right now. What else have we got? The pop gun would be nice, but two weapons that use uh, bullet ammo, maybe not the best thing in the world. I'm still not really sure where I stand on the pop gun. I like the visual presentation of the shot of the pop gun, the way that the shells bounce around like a shotgun. Uh, but I'm yeah, I'm not really sure kind of where I land on the pop gun or the pop rifle uh, as well. Hmm. Yeah, got to do a little bit of uh, personal research on that, I guess. Kind of figure out where I stand. So uh, yeah, level two, done. Stage two, excuse me. Remember trying to make the changeover from calling them levels to calling them stages. That was really not necessary. Uh, because, you know, when we level up and get a mutation, I like to call that leveling up. So yeah. Uh, shotgun versus slugger. Hard to say which one is better. All right. Just kind of head over here and do a nice clear out before we go back over and take a shot at the bandit. Probably going to need more than one shot to take out the bandit, but you know what I mean. Okay, that wasn't good. All right, yeah, a little bit of an effective use of his slowdown technique. Not really sure that that was a super effective use. And of course, I've already taken a ton of damage, so Rhino Skin is a welcome, welcome addition to my mutation roster. All right, so I am uh, I'm happy to be chicken in the sewer without the sword because these rats do me in with a an alarming consistency when I have a melee weapon. Uh, because some of those rats will retreat on the first hit, and some of the rats will charge in further on the first hit. And since it takes two swings of a regular sword to actually kill the rats, it really makes for an unpleasant experience for a novice player like myself, who is uh, going to generally get hit multiple, multiple times. There we go trying not to get hit by rats. So yeah, uh, long story short, I don't do well against rats with melee weapons uh, because the rats are unpredictable. In fact, I don't do well against any uh, unpredictable enemy. And given how little we're actually using our machine gun, it might be worth it to go to the heavy crossbow. I mean, I don't, I don't see any way we don't take this with us. The question is whether it replaces our machine gun or our shotgun at this point. Uh, I'm really liking the shotgun in this level. But that doesn't mean that the shotgun is going to be uh, super useful. Come on now. I'm trying to get a few shells in there to finish that fellow off, but it just doesn't want to happen. 
There we go. Lots of ammo wasted there. And uh, yeah, Fate, Destiny took the... Not the game. Uh, Destiny took the uh, choice out of our hands, and there is the homing bolts, bolt mirror that we would have hoped for had we actually taken the crossbow. Uh, so yeah, that's a bummer. Huge, huge bummer. Kind of thought there was more to the level, but uh, the lesson is you should never think that because these levels will end at a moment's notice. So, you know, we're not going to get down about having lost our... Whoa, about having lost our crossbow, our heavy crossbow with bolt marrow, which probably could have carried us to the end of the game. Uh, we're just going to persevere. We're just going to take our really bouncy, uh, our really, really bouncy shotgun shells, and we're going to do our darn best to uh, recover and get a nice uh, game out of it. So we have an assault rifle there. I'm not particularly interested in the assault rifle. Uh, yeah, not particularly interested in the assault rifle. That's uh, period. End of that sentence. There, there we go. And, uh, yeah. A nice level, no damage taken there. A little bit of ammo. Yeah, can't complain. Alright, not really using uh, Chicken's ability quite as effectively as I would like to be at this point. So we've got our, uh, our statue there. Uh, we are indeed gonna have, uh, the IDPD, or IPDP, whatever the hell it's called, called on us, which is, uh, never fun. Uh, the police, as they say. All right, I desperately need that health, and I also not to need to not walk into that fire again. Okay, that was nice. Cue just a hail of bullets that came in and tried to uh, do a little damage to me there. But so far, we're holding it together. Uh, no longer holding it together. But we were, for, for a brief time, we were holding it together. Uh, now we're just uh, we're just in survival mode right now. We are losing XP left and right because we're in survival mode. Uh, but, you know, we're trying to live, and uh, so far we are, in fact, living. Uh, splinter Pistol, I mean, we didn't take Bolt Marrow, so there's really no point, I would suppose, in taking the Splinter Pistol. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, find ourselves sucked down to the next level. And we are nearly out of shotgun ammo now, so it is time to go straight up machine gun. All right. Nasty things down here that mean to do me harm. And uh, mostly are successful in doing me harm. And there is the nastiest of them all. I'm going to get desperate and uh, corner myself in order to get a little more HP. Okay, that was uh, something. I, I did somehow survive. Uh, not actually in a place where that matters too much sort of surviving in the state that we're in right now is kind of uh, pointless. Uh, but we're going to shoot every single machine gun bullet that we have at this uh, giant massive dog here. And uh, yeah, eventually he's going to die. And we're not going to get caught in the explosion because that explosion is a lot smaller than it used to be. Okay, Sticky Launcher. So it's been a weird game. Uh, we are somehow moving forward and we're actually getting places despite really poor play. And we're, we're on a razor's edge constantly with the damage. But uh, it's happening, folks. We, we actually made it past uh, the wasteland, the scrapyard, whatever the hell it's called. And uh, yeah, Bolt Marrow taunting us, taunting us here. But I think it's got to be Rabbit Paw. So uh, yeah, Crystal Caves, is it? It is. As it always is. I was just... Feigning uncertainty there for some reason. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm not powerful enough to uh, to take this on right now. Uh, so this is scary as hell. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the sticky launcher uh, just as a uh, just as a means to try and uh, do something here. And uh, shame on me, that was a mouse wheel weapon switch. Trying to get away from those. Trying to get on those uh, spacebar mouse uh, weapon switches only. Okay, there you are. Hey, friends. How you doing, guys? Yeah, you, okay, cool. All right. Okay, all right. Again, we're just somehow managing to persist and exist uh, when we absolutely do not deserve to. Wait for that explosion, and it happened. 
And we'll blow this guy up now. And everybody's cooperating for the moment with our uh, plan here. Our plan to, uh, you know, just generally stick bombs on people and have them explode. So I'm going to kind of keep going with that scheme, you know. It's it's a good, sound business strategy. And I'm going to continue to do it. Uh, yeah. Now you, you, no, no, no. Yeah, he did it. But luckily, as chicken, we get that second chance and uh, we bounce back. So that guy finally uh, showed me the air of my ways there and said, uh, yeah, you know what? If you stick a bomb to me, I can just run at you as fast as possible and kill you. And he did. And he made me look like a fool. Uh, but hey, I recovered. And that's all that really matters. Now we have a laser minigun. And that is definitely something that we want to invest in as we get into this crazy, insane part of the game. I, this is low ammo. Do I want to go this low on the ammo? I do have back muscle, so if ammo shows up, I can conceivably sort of right myself. Um, yeah, that was all the ammo for that, so we'll just put that back down here. And we'll go back over to our launcher. No, no, no. There it is again. Yeah, that sort of just went off the rails right away. Uh, from the moment that I uh, completely emptied that laser cannon trying to kill one enemy. But that was a good run. You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not going to beat myself up over that one. Uh, I had some fun there. Uh, I think the key to that run was the fact that we got rid of the sword as quickly as we could. If I can be rid of this sword before I am even out of the first couple of levels, I would be super, super happy about that. Uh, because this thing is is a death uh, blow for me will will signal my death uh, most certainly if I keep it much longer. Uh, great, another melee weapon, but we did at least have a grenade launcher pop in down here, so that's something we will take it. Uh, despite uh, the sticky launcher and our fate on the last level, lots and lots of ammo coming in, so that's uh, definitely a good thing. I'm not going to complain about that at all. Sharp teeth, gamma guts, patience, that old patience, yeah, so uh, still don't know what patience is, I didn't do any reading, shame on me, uh, but uh, we're going to take it just to see what happens, because really nothing here is uh, all that appealing, although the, the one where enemies touching you take damage is, is actually hugely powerful, as I've discovered, uh, but I'm just going to take patience just to see if I can deal with it, uh, or, if, or not deal with it, uh, if I can discover sort of how the effect works. Uh, because one thing that I've talked about consistently in this series is the fun of actually discovering how things work on on my own and how much I do indeed uh, enjoy enjoy that. So I want to save my last uh, grenade for myself. No, I want to save my last grenade uh, for that uh, carcass, but that actually ended up not being my last grenade, what I thought was going to be my last grenade. Uh, well, we definitely want some more ammo for our launcher, and we want a good weapon like C crossbow, so we have that now. It just went into a French accent now for some reason, I don't know why. Very bad French accent. There we go, alright. So crossbow and, uh, uh, and grenade launcher, this is a rough one. Uh, scare your face, plutonium hunger, uh, and there's Gamma Guts again, so yeah, I may be a chance to redeem myself from not taking Gamma Guts earlier, but, uh, yeah, I think uh, the weapons that we have are going to kill enemies in one hit no matter what. So I don't necessarily think that uh, Scare Your Face does much for us now. So that will be a late game investment. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take Plutonium Hunger because I like things getting attracted to me. Uh, yeah, we'll start out with a little grenade launcher fun here. Try to get the, uh, the big guys to bite on some grenades. Really wish I had that old bolt marrow. Okay, so we got ourselves a level, that's good. And we're in a weird position uh, right now when it comes to taking out these small single enemies uh, like the uh, slugs or maggots, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but that's not going to stop us from trying. Certainly not going to stop us from trying. It's also not going to stop us from dying. And nobody wants to cooperate and give us any life whatsoever. So there we go. Back right, right back into it. Uh, not at all, uh, not at all really feeling, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's that word where discouraged. I was going to say the opposite of encouraged. Uh, I'm not feeling discouraged by that run. Uh, it was a, a short and painful run, uh, but you know, those things happen. That was mostly just me losing all my life in some really sloppy play. And that's something that we want to avoid, of course, 
I gotta stop running towards those freaking grenades when I shoot them. Uh, but it's also something that is uh, is just part of the game for me, for a player at my level, making mistakes. I mean, I see some of the, even the best players, or what I would consider to be the best players, uh, having those kinds of runs. So, you know, it's gonna happen. This impenetrable cow skull here, maybe you can use it as a little bit of cover. Yeah, that, that was... That, okay? So, uh, yeah, Headless Chicken made it through the level. I, it would be great if Rhino Skin was here. I think if Rhino Skin was here, I could probably live, but instead we're just going to pop into the level and die immediately? Yeah, that was, uh, that was unique. <laughs> that was unique. So I can't be mad at that, <laughs> because that was probably one of the most unique deaths I've ever had in this game. But again, it's, it's just more sloppy play. Uh, it, it's just, that's not something that I need to be doing. Also, missing like that's not something that I need to be doing. Uh, but, you know, it, 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 it happens, and I don't want to make excuses. I, I want to be in a place where it doesn't just happen, and I don't just say, oh, well, I'm just a crappy player, and crappy players do stupid things. Uh, I want to get past that, and the way to get past that is, is to not necessarily accept things like that when they happen, not to just say, oh, well, bad players get hit. Uh, bad players use their abilities at inappropriate times, and uh, bad players, you know, get uh, absolutely destroyed by scorpions in slow motion. Uh, no, you know, that, that's actually not something that I need to, to kind of uh, write off. I don't want to be a bad player, I want to be a good player, and good players don't suffer from those things, so let's not suffer from those things either. Uh, the disc gun. Is the disc gun better than the sword? Will it keep me alive longer than the sword? No, it will not. It will kill me, <laughs> most certainly. Most certainly. Oh, I was really hoping I'd get a lucky uh, ricochet there, but I did not. Uh, so a little bit, of, a little bit of life is exactly what we needed right there. We're at nearly full health going into uh, one three, and we've got a mutation. Uh, you know, that that might be nice. Shells bounce farther. Uh, what we do have our sword. Do we want to commit to the sword? That's the question. The sword's going to get me killed. I assure you, because I am not good at melee. Uh, so we're going to go with Plutonium Hunger. If I were to take longer arms, I'm committing to a melee strategy. Well, I'm committing a mutation to a melee strategy. I don't guess I'm committing 100% to a melee strategy. Uh, but that's just not something that I, I'm comfortable with doing. So I'm not going to do it. Oh, cactuses. There's some really resilient cactuses in this uh, wasteland here. Really resilient cactuses. Cacti? I think it's cacti. Is that right? Cacti. Oh, come back here, you. Come on. Hmm, that was an unnecessary hit. I'm going to beat myself up over that for a couple days. Not really. Uh, laser pistol, yeah. That's... That is an acceptable replacement for the sword, most definitely. Here we go. Shoot. All right, well, yeah, that was good. I mean, it used up a lot of our ammo, but uh, that's all right. That's what ammo's for, right? Ammo's for using. Guns are for shooting, ammo's for using. An assault rifle might be a nice addition, but uh, it's just not. It's just... Wow. Severe thunderstorms rolling in here in the Midlands of South Carolina. What do we want? What do we want? Um, yeah, there's really nothing here that I want. I mean, some kills regenerate ammo. Sure. I mean, that's, that's better than nothing. Uh, so I'm missing that shotgun that I had. But uh, anything that can kill the rats in one hit is, wow, uh, is, I think, a net positive. So I'm kind of happy with, wow, let's bounce it off the same corner twice. There's a certain amount of skill involved in that. To pat myself on the back for that. All right, so let's concentrate. Let's kill this mama rat and all of her ratlings. And let's just wreak some absolute havoc up in this corner, and uh, that's it. Okay, so we're all clear up here. All clear down here. Assault rifle still thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. All right, rat dead. There's our sewer entrance, but we don't 
have anything that could blow it open. Ah, darn. I forgot. You can't shoot chests open. You can only shoot uh, radiation canisters. Oh, well. So, yeah, for the second time today, we find ourselves in uh, the scrap yard area. That somehow didn't hit me. Man, I'm thinking back to some, some old updates where that would have absolutely obliterated half the screen and killed me in the process. All right, so to the laser pistol. All right, pretending like I do things on purpose. Ah, okay. Oh, hello, hi, how you doing? Oh, that was supposed to be a nice, uh, a nice sneaky corner kill. So far, everything is uh, is coming up uh, fairly rosy. Uh, a little too close to that one. I was uh, patting myself on the back so much for the uh, for the precision of the first car explosion that uh, that one had to put me in check. Uh, double shotgun. Don't see any real need for that. Um, it's um, it's a powerful weapon. I feel like a vanilla slugger is probably better right now than that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it. Uh, okay, what I really need is... Uh, why do I... Laser brain. Why do I always blank on the name of that? Slower enemy bullets. Uh, shells bounce farther. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just... With, with the lineup that we have here, I'm going to take bolt marrow just hoping beyond hope uh, that we actually get a, uh, a crossbow. So a little bit of a little bit of a clear out there when we blew up that uh, flamethrower, flamethrowers and enemies like this flame salamander would shoot fire, are uh, undoubtedly some of the worst enemies in the game. Ah, uh, darn it! Okay, well that one ends uh, a bit prematurely. That felt like a good run. I took some uh, just really odd damage there at the end, uh, but yeah. I think that's going to be the end of our chicken running for today. Uh, you know, it was it was a decent episode. We made it. We kind of got back on our feet. We've been having trouble getting uh, further into the game, especially getting uh, to things like the crystal caves and whatnot. And uh, we got back there today, and that's good. So I want to keep to building, uh, keep keep building on that. English, do you speak it? And I, I want to just, just, again, try to improve. Like I said, no excuses. I'm a bad player. That's not an excuse anymore. Get rid of that mentality. Get rid of the idea that it's okay to do the things that bad players do. If you want to be better, then I guess you got to get better, huh? So, uh, yeah, it's time to put my money where my mouth is, to use a rather dated and uh, tired cliché. So yeah, we're going to put our nose to the grindstone. More cliches coming at you on the next episode. And we are going to try, try, try one day, if the gods smile on us, to see that nuclear throne. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.